Hello. All right. Here's a question from Grace. Grace says, hi, I don't want to trouble anyone. Polite, isn't it? It's very, I bet she's British. But I don't know who to ask. I really need to ask a question. All right, Grace, get on with it. I have written down the reasons to recover long list and then reasons that are stopping me from recovering. There is one thing from stopping me. That is having a bigger stomach and legs and having cellulite on them. I've been in recovery for nine months and was doing so well, but I've fallen backwards because I put on weight and then I couldn't cope with how big my body was. Now that I've been to that size, I'm doubly scared. Well, Grace, so, if you have an eating disorder, you have fear of weight gain. So therefore, it's not surprising at all that when you gain weight, you didn't like it, is it? So, you know, like, you put that, this is, okay, so this is the one thing from stopping and recover, that you'll have a bigger stomach and legs and cellulite. So basically, the one thing that is stopping you recover is the fact that if you recover, you will gain weight. Well, hi, well, welcome to recovery. That's what it's all about, Grace. So I think, dear, that um, if you're considering recovery at all, got to sort of, like, get that hurdle under the belt, haven't we? We've got to sort of talk about the weight gain aspect because it's going to happen. Um, so it sounds like you've done relatively well and then you gained some weight and now you're having a little bit of a uh, wobble. No ton in, pun intended. Um, or it kind of was intended. <laughs> um, it's going to happen, Grace. Like this is Recovery is about being brave. Recovery is about doing the thing that you are most scared of doing, which, as you have identified very correctly, is weight gain. That is probably what you're most scared of in the world. So all the other things that you wrote down in that list don't come close, do they, to that reality of it's the weight gain, that's the biggest problem. And so that is exactly, exactly what you have to do. And there's no way around it or under it or over it. You've just got to do it, Grace with that knowledge is that you won't like it and you're going to not like that weight gain a lot and the more you don't like the idea of that weight gain the more bloody important it is that you do the weight gain part because the only way that you're going to teach your brain not to be quite so fearful of weight gain is by guess what doing it so arm yourself with the knowledge of you, what you've just experienced. You've just experienced that you started to gain weight and then you kind of freaked out about it. That is excellent knowledge for you to have because now you can carry on knowing what that freak out feels like. And because you know what it feels like, you absolutely are prepared to not allow that freak out to make you go backwards. And do you know what I want you to do when you start to feel that? scared of weight gain, scared of more weight gain. Guess what I want to do, you to do, Grace? Yes, I want you to eat. Because you have to teach your brain not to fear weight gain, and the way that you do that is by opposing that fear. You do the opposite of what that fear tells you to do. If you restrict because you felt fear of weight gain, guess what you just did? You just reinforced the fear because you agreed with it. I don't care how much you feel like you agree with it. You've got to act as if you don't agree with it. So when your brain starts to tell you, you know what, you've got cellulite on the back of your legs, guess what I want you to do, Grace? I want you to shove a chocolate bar in your face. Who cares if you've got cellulite on the back of your legs anyway? Like, who sees the back of your legs unless you're 12 years old and in a miniskirt? Um, not many people, right? I don't know. You might be a dancer. People might see the back of your legs. You might be into hot pants, if they're still in fashion, which I wouldn't know because I'm so out of fashion I have no clue what's in fashion so maybe hot pants are in fashion and maybe everybody sees the back of your legs the whole time but personally for me who spends all the time pretty much on a horse yard in jobbers or jeans nobody sees the back of my bloody legs so cellulite can be there as much as it likes because I don't give a shit and even if people did see the back of my legs everybody has cellulite anyway so if somebody's going to judge you because you've got cellulite then who needs that kind of negativity in their life not me anyway so yeah, care less about what people think. Like seriously, if someone judges you because you've got cellulite, then they're a wanker and you don't need them in your life. You really do not need friends like that, do you, Grace? So let's not worry about cellulite. God, yeah, that really sounds like... I thought people were over-worrying about cellulite. I thought that was an 80s thing. Obviously not. But bring it 
on, bring on the cellulite. Put it on the back of the legs. Best place for it, if you ask me. It's probably got a function. All right, bye.